thing about sport is you get a chance the next week to, to like you say, bounce back and we've we've gone through the game from the weekend and the things to pr- improve on and learn. But um, now our full focus is on yeah, improving our performance and getting a good result against Japan. For your period on the, on the field against the Springboks, it, it was a tough part of the game. What kind of can you learn from that? What was the experience like being out there and against a, a team, you know, world champions who really had their tails up at that point? Yeah, it was tough. Um, yeah, the last kind of 10 minutes I got on, we were, we were quite far behind, so we knew we had to kind of roll the dice a bit and um, try and score a couple of tries, which is not easy against them. They suffocate you well and defend well. So, um, yeah, they showed how they implement their game plan is effective and at times we kind of played into their hands. So, yeah, a bit to work on, but looking forward to, to, to writing some of those wrongs this week. What's it like as a, as a nine, you know, getting your chance to kind of make an impression from the bench in, in, in the, the game so far? Is that, is that, is that trickier? You know, is it harder to kind of, I don't know, put your, your, your game across when you're coming on and there's already an established rhythm about the, about the match? Yeah, it's quite tough um, when you're not getting too much game time, but you know you've you've still got a big role to play. Whether that was the Australia game last ten minutes, with to you know just be accurate in what we're doing and, and close the game out. Um, slightly different scenario at the weekend, coming from behind, and it was a case of just trying to play a tempo and um, yeah, trying to up, up the speed and, and put them under pressure. So yeah, it's it's tough because you don't get as much minutes on the field, but. Um, I think it's, it's still an important role you've got to play and adapt to the situation that the game's kind of given you. What, what's it like you, Ali, and, and, and Jamie all play together at, at club as well? Does that is that quite a good thing to translate kind of the relationship over to the to the international camp? Yeah, we've all three of us have got a good relationship. We do a lot of work on our game together and things. So yeah, that's nice. We obviously know each other really well and things. Um, but we're all still competing against each other. We all are competitive guys. We all want to be starting and playing as much as possible. So, yeah, it's good in a way that we're familiar, but there's still, um, yeah, everyone still wants to, to play. Cheers, mate. Uh, you, you, you mentioned there, you know, about um, coming off the, the bench. I mean, all, all your, um, your Scotland caps since 2019 have been as a replacement. I mean, you must be really itching to, to start um, for, for Scotland again. Um, do you think that might come on in, in Saturday? Yeah, well, we never know. I mean, I hope so. Um, yeah, you, always, you want to start in the games. and um, But, yeah, that's, that's kind of not up to me at the moment. I, I Hopefully I can get a start, but if I'm not selected or if I'm coming off the bench, then, yeah, I just want to get out there and play for Scotland and, and, and play as well as I can. Yeah. And your replacement the last time Scotland played um, Japan when they lost in the, the World Cup. Um, what do you remember of, of that day? And you know, how, how do you think that will help you um, against them this time round? Oh, firstly, I think we're a completely different team now. We've, uh, we've developed our game a lot the last couple of years and we're up there defensively wise. It's one of the best teams in the world defensively. So, um Hopefully we can put them under a lot of pressure and not let them play their offloading, expansive game. Um, and yeah, obviously we know, we kind of know what's coming. We played them a couple of years ago. They've got a fairly similar team, but yeah, both teams are a lot different still. So um, yeah, so it's, it's not going to be anything like 2019, hopefully. Yeah. And I mean, do you see this as um, a chance to right some wrongs uh, from from the World Cup? Uh, to be honest, no. I mean, we want to win, which is righting a wrong, I guess, but we've not really, well, it's not been mentioned about losing them in the World Cup. And we're just focused on getting a result this week. And yeah, if we put out a good performance, I think we'll be good enough to beat them. That's great. Right. Thanks very much and good luck. Thank you. George, has it been different for you playing against the likes of Australia, South Africa the last few weeks? Is it, you know, a kind of different intensity? Is it... We have two of the top teams in the Southern Hemisphere, just something different. Uh, yeah, it was both teams actually were quite different from each other. Australia are slightly more similar to us, like they play at pace, a bit more expansive, um, but still very physical at all the teams at international level. It's, it's a physical battle. So 
And then South Africa is just kind of that plus 10, really. Their, their whole game's focused around winning that physicality battle and set piece and just smothering the other team's attack. And yeah, both teams have been have been good, good games, though. It was quite interesting just listen to you know the players after the game we spoke to us were a real disappointment because you really obviously as a squad you you expected to to do better you you feel that having that approach that can help you improve as a as a as a squad you've got obviously got two years to to improve before you play them again at the World Cup. Yeah, that was a disappointing thing from the weekend. We created some good um, opportunities and. Through one thing or another, we weren't quite accurate enough to take them, or they managed to, you know, fly out the line or something and and stop some of our attacks. But yeah, a lot of the mistakes were kind of on us, and we know we can be better, which is promising. And um, because you know, well, I think after sixty five minutes, we're still within one score. So, um, yeah, we just we know we know if we put out our best performance, we can match, if not beat, any team in the world, which is, is promising. But it's all good and well saying that we just need to to bring that for eight minutes on, on the weekend. Cheers. Okay, we've